So this story, ladies and gentlemen, goes on and on and on, which is why it's the only topic of today's video. I mean, it's a pretty big topic in itself, right? And there are some huge shocking updates you need to be made aware of. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you'll know we made a video on the TikTok comedian who went viral, Shamira Nessa, because she called out Jeffrey Marsh. She had seen the creepy, concerning content he was putting out and had to speak up about it. She responded to one of his videos and said, stop telling kids to go over to your Patreon where you can chat to them privately without the parents knowing. It only takes what one quick glance at Jeffrey Marsh's content and anybody with any common sense would also have the same concerns, which the woke mob do not have because they made her the center of their attention. They insulted her. They insulted her religion. They said she was spreading hate. She was lying. Because apparently, according to them, I don't know how they've come up with this excuse, but his content is actually for adults. It helps adults. Strictly for adults. Right. So how dare she call him out? How did she not know his content was for adults? I don't know. Maybe there was a clear giveaway. So I'll use the same argument as I made last time. If a child, if a young adult is scrolling on TikTok and they come across a video of Jeffrey Marsh where he says, Hey kids. Hi kids. This one's for the kids. Are they going to sit there and think, yeah, you know what, this content is obviously for adults and not me? No. So what's going to happen then? Well, everybody's curious these days, especially the younger generation. So they'll click on his profile and even on his profile, there is no indication that would tell them, hey, my content is for adults. So what will they do? Well, they'll click on maybe a couple of other videos where he'll say things like, your gender doesn't exist. Your parents screwed up. And if you don't like your family, I can be your family. But the progressive movements, his fans, they ignore that. They don't want to hear that. No, no, you're lying. You're spreading hate. It's bigotry. If this man wasn't part of the LGBTQ squared, cubed, do you think they would be so quick to defend him? No. It's funny how it works, isn't it? But because of the backlash, she had to make another video where she responded to all the people saying she was spreading hate, she was lying. She showed them all the videos that would raise many concerns with a load of people where he says, hi kids, hey kids, this one's for the kids. And not only that, she also shows his Patreon, which she originally called out. And you get things like morons. <laughs> Going no contact. And as I said previously, you know, I was interested to see how his fans, how the progressives could respond to that. How could they respond to that video? Because in my opinion, it was a brilliant response. There's no valid argument to make. I thought they would just end up insulting her because that's what they resort to, right? Well, the woke mob have responded because they can't let it go. They just can't let go of the fact that somebody may be in the right. And they have responded and they have insulted her. And she responds to a woman who did insult her. And on top of that, she raises more concerns and she shows allegedly an email that a school sent out to parents raising the concern of Jeffrey Marsh and his content. Take a listen. I want you to give a quick update on what's going on with Jeffrey Marsh. I know I said that I'm going to stay out of it, but I just have to show you these videos that I found. So once again, a lot of people are saying Jeffrey Marsh is not discussing with kids. Okay. They're trying to educate them about the trans community, which, by the way, has nothing to do with you. Thanks for calling me a whatever you called me. And what did you say? They're not discussing with kids. OK, let me show you something. Hello, Patreoners, Patreoners. I want to tell you a story that I never have put on social media that I never have told to anyone. Um, it's about Jeff and I having sex. And are you allowed to talk about that on Patreon? Um, but it's not, it's actually not about that. It's about having childhood trauma and how for the very longest time, years actually, I couldn't let go of my life. So what was that again? What, what was that video that I watched that was on Patreon? Jeffrey Marsh doesn't talk about, what, did you just say that? Oh, and look what else I found on their Patreon. If you are attempting to figure out if you want to go no contact, let me give you a tip. Go no contact first before you figured it out. If you tell your mother, for example, you're going to go no contact and she makes it all about her. She says, what the fuck does that mean? 
She uh, steamrolls over your experience or your emotions. She makes it all about her. She tries to manipulate you with guilt. That is really valuable information about how to proceed. If you go no contact and she says, I love you very much. I respect your decision. Please take as much space as you need. I'll be working on myself and I'm ready if you ever want to have contact again. That's helpful information too. Give it a shot. Manipulation comes to my brain. So Jeffrey Marsh is teaching these kids, no matter how your parents react, you should still go no contact. And then after the no contact, who will you go to? You need a friend that will keep your secrets and support you and love you like family, right? So these kids will go to Jeffrey Marsh. I, I don't get what else I'm supposed to show, honestly. Oh, I know what I will show. A warning from a school to keep away from Jeffrey Marsh. Absolutely astounding and disgusting. I get parent emails like everyone else does about their kids at school. I just have one question for those people who are defending Jeffrey Marsh. If Jeffrey Marsh was a straight male, not trans, would you still be supporting them? They would probably be talking to the FBI by now. So again, another brilliant response. It's crazy how far you have to go to defend yourself. I mean, it's insane a school apparently has sent out an email raising the concern of Jeffrey Marsh and his content. That's how intense the situation is getting, and rightly so. But look how far you have to go to defend yourself. Look how far she has to go to defend herself. I mean, as she says, right, and as I said, if this wasn't a trans person, if this man wasn't part of some progressive community, would all these people be so quick to defend him? Obviously not. If this was a straight male, they'd also be setting up hashtags, going crazy on social media. And on top of that, if this was a straight male, his accounts would be banned everywhere, as they should be. But Jeffrey Marsh, mm, why is he still around? I mean, in my opinion, if you're so adamant on defending this man, to me, you're telling all the parents who have worries, have worries that their kids could be watching this content, being told that their gender doesn't exist, that their parents screwed up. I can be your family if you don't like your family. You're telling all those parents who have those concerns, well, they're not valid. You shouldn't be concerned. In fact, your worries stem from bigotry. You just don't like him because he's not straight, etc, etc. They don't care. They do not care. Because if your concerns, your worries, goes against a certain ideology, well, they don't want to hear it. They want to silence you, and they will keep coming after you until you are silent, until you can't take it any longer, until you change your tune, then they'll stop. I mean, look how much this woman has to defend herself, as I said. How can you defend a man who is posting videos saying, your parents screwed up? If you're a boy or a girl, your genders don't exist. You shouldn't be telling anybody that. I applaud this woman. I applaud anybody who does not crack, who does not bow down to the woke mob. Because this will also inspire others to raise their voices. Because people are scared to raise their voice in these times. You know, you raise your voice, you get cancelled, everything taken away from you, social media accounts gone, fired, etc, etc. But this shows that you can stand up to these people, these people who don't like a different opinion, even if they're valid concerns, valid worries. And the more people that stand up to these people, the more it inspires, as I said, other people to then also raise their voice without being scared to do so. We need more people like this. But that is the end of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed today, then please for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. But until next time, until the next episode, it has been your boy JD. Please for me, make sure to always, always have a great day and stay safe. I'm out. Peace.